Hey everyone, this is Jason with Jason Mary Photography. I'm a local wedding photographer from Southern California, and I just wanted to share a really quick tutorial on how I would edit an image in Instagram. So, um, yeah, I've got an image here that I shot on the North Shore of Hawaii. Um, really cool looking yellow bus, and I wanted to capture, you know, all of the details and colors and um, just the vibrancy of Hawaii. Um, this is what the image looks like straight out of camera with no filters, no edits whatsoever. Um, still a great image, I think, but it lacks the vibrancy of this one here. So there's before and there's after. So let me just uh, go back a step. And let me show you how I got to um, the after photo. So the first thing I do is I go through the filters here and I find one that I kind of like. Um, let's see here. I like Lark. It's kind of natural, not, not a big difference, right? So there's before, there's after. Um, I'm actually going to bring down, I, and I love this feature, like you can, you know, just use a small percentage or go all the way up to 100%. I'm going to go around 80, and then I'm going to pick another filter because um, you can actually, you know, like just uh, layer the filters on top of each other, so I, that, that's a really cool feature here. Let's take a look at... Was it this one, Grima? Yeah, that one. Because I really like the tones of the bus in this one. So let's go 0, 100. Let's keep it around 80 as well. OK, so now the fun begins. Um, let's go into Edit. And let's start with, actually, let's start with Adjust, right? My biggest pet peeve is. Um, when the horizon is not straight. So let's straighten that out a little bit. And the horizon is, you're, I'm looking at the water on the right hand side and I'm trying to make sure that that looks relatively straight compared to the grid, you know, the lines. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, let's go brightness, let's make it a little bit brighter. Contrast. And what I would recommend is like pulling it all the way to 100 and see what, okay, what does contrast do? Um, so yeah, it's, it darkens the darks and it just creates, um, it, it actually just accentuates like the shadows and the highlights and everything, um, more contrasty. So let's see, let's do done. Okay. Structure. And this is just a personal preference, but when I see images like this, um, it's not a, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I don't necessarily like the what I call the crunchy look or like um, you know the over like an HDR kind of look so what I like to try to do is keep the images looking natural and as if they weren't edited that's kind of my goal so I'm gonna keep it around 30 for that uh, warmth warmth is probably the number one thing that will help your images um, I'm a big fan of warm images and you know I'm a, I'm a pretty happy guy right now I'm kind of sick so if you can hear that in my voice I'm, I apologize I uh, got a cold when I was in Hawaii and um, yeah it's still it's still lingering so I'm gonna warm up the image about uh, 50 right here and the next one is saturation and you can go crazy with this um, I go up to 100 and see what it looks like it looks a little too crazy uh, what I'd recommend is backing it off and keeping saturation between, I don't know, 20 and 40 or something like that. So I'm, I'm going to bring it up. This image uh, requires some saturation because um, I really want that yellow to, to pop. So I'm going to keep it around 45. Um, color I don't really mess with too much and, you know, fade and stuff. I don't really mess with that. Highlights, this is going to affect really your, your sky. 
um, any whites that you have but I do want to make sure that this image is nice and bright um, it's gonna look like on your phone it's gonna look different depending on, on how bright you have the brightness I would recommend turning up the brightness all the way on your phone if you're gonna be uh, editing photos making any you know major adjustments um, obviously if you have the dimness turned all the way down the image is gonna look a little different so turn your brightness up before you start um, editing your images now shadows um, you know this image looks really cool with like the dark shadows um, all the way up doesn't doesn't do this image justice I do like to have some contrast and I think by bringing the shadows down a little bit it brings that contrast into the image and I, I think that looks good again this is all personal preference and once you start playing around with these different settings you'll you know you'll get a feeling for what you like um, and the last step is sharpening and again you know you don't want it too crazy because it, it does tend to start looking fake especially if you look at the trees where they where it meets the sky it starts to you can see like the edges and everything so with sharpening um, you know the average rule for me is between 20 and 40 definitely below 50 um, it's very rare that I'll go above 50 so let's hit done and let me show you before and after before after um, and then yeah just I'm gonna go ahead and post this right now um, if you guys are on Instagram you can follow me at jberryphoto that's j b e r r y p h o t o or if you want to follow my other page it's at Jason Berry Photography um, thank you so much for watching and I will be in touch soon.